Good afternoon all. Yeah, today, uh, this is the second talk on Kilogram model. Professor uh, Korea from Chile, he has uh, discussed in detail about different models. And uh, here uh, we consider uh, simple three body problems and uh, one many body problem. And the main aim is to get the rational extension of this Kilogram model. And uh, we uh, completed this work with these collaborators, Professor Abhinash Khare, Professor B.P. Mandal, and Nisha Kumari. <laughs> yeah, first, uh, first we will discuss about the uh, normal kilogram model, three-body three body system, and then n-body system, and then the rationally, uh, rational extension of these two models, and then uh, we will summarize after. <laughs> yeah, so this is the well-known model, three-body problem. Kilogram is three body problem. Yeah, the Hamiltonian for this three body system is given like this, where this P of H and P of I, this is the harmonic terms and inverse square potential. And the solution, solution uh, for this system is obtained by using this Jacobi coordinates and by defining the polar coordinates like this. And after defining this, the we can reduce this, uh, we can obtain this, uh, all these coordinate system in rho and phi coordinate. And then the solution for uh, uh, that Hamiltonian uh, is reduced in the form of rho and phi. And uh, after using the separation of variables method, we can obtain the solution in terms of uh, this Lagrange type polynomials and some hypergeometric function type polynomial. This is the well known. Yeah. Now, the sim similarly for the many body case, uh, this is the Calogero well known model. We are consider here the solution of this model is looks like this and given by this equation where this z is given by this and this and uh, <coughs> this p of k is a hom homogeneous polynomial which uh, satisfy the generalized laplace equation these are well known so we summarize only here and the r of rho this satisfy the well known solvable differential equation like this and when we solve this differential equation, the solution looks like in the form of normal Lagrange polynomials. So our main, is, our main aim is to get the rational extension of this equation. Okay, the energy eigenvalue is given by this equation. And now, yeah. So first we consider the three-body problem, then uh, we will consider the many-body problem. So in the three-body case, we'll fetch first time extended the normal Calogero three-body problem by using this extra interaction term, V of W, by defining this type of interaction terms, and solve that problems. And that problem can be solved by using this uh, Calogero potential without harmonic terms or inverse square term. And thereafter, Khare and Bhaduri again define some new interaction term this uh, the V of interaction, and they obtained about four to five interaction terms and solved these potentials exactly. These are the interaction terms which was uh, obtained by Khare and Bhaduri and obtained the solution of that Calogero three body problems. And <clears throat> after this, yeah, one of the interesting thing is that the solutions for all these Inter uh, all these uh, interaction terms, when we add with the normal Calogero three-body problems, are obtained in term terms of either Lagre or Jacobi orthogonal polynomials. Now, <coughs> yeah, now we extend this model by adding two new terms. These two are rational. Rational means there is some numerator terms and denominator terms. So now we add these two new interaction terms and uh, the first one is like this. This is uh, simply because here this x i x is square, so this term is uh, related to the radial r dependent term, row dependent term, and this one is the interesting term, v of rational two, because here we we define this j x, and we have the different forms of this j of x, and these forms are this. These are the different forms. Here we have considered these four forms and again three. So we have total seven forms for this one. So we can obtain 
the solution for these three body problems by using all these seven problems. So we have now seven three body problems, rationally extended. Yeah. So we consider one example for the real case and even consider the another example for the complex case. So first we consider the real case by defining this one. This one is known. We consider here only the harmonic term of the Calogero case. And this one is the Wolfage term. And this one is interaction term by Khare and Bhaduri. And this is our term we have defined. So now we add, we consider the Khare term like this. And this one is already known. Here this CP indicate the cyclic permutation of this first term. And uh, this V operational one, which we have already defined. And this V operational two, now we have to define. So now to define this V operational two, we choose this j of this form, either this form or this form. These two form defines two different three body problems. But when you solve these two problems, we get the same solutions because these two reduces when you use the Jacobi polynomial, Jacobi coordinates, these two j reduces to the same j equal, equal to minus sine three pi. Yeah. Then the solution for this equation, when you use that b of rho phi in these two dimensional uh, Schrodinger equation, and uh, then uh, using the non solutions like this, this equation decoupled into this uh, row dependent and phi dependent terms, and we can easily obtain the solutions in this form. Now the potential looks like this form, conventional. This is the well known radial oscillator case, and this one is the rational extension part. And the combined terms looks like this, and this is the rational part. This one is the well known. This is the also obtained by the Calogero. And if you set all these parameters A, C1, B, and C2, like this, we get the rationally extended potentials, which was obtained by Kushne. Yeah, the solution for this potential, yeah, the solution for this potential is given in terms of the exceptional Lagrange polynomial with this denominator term. And this exceptional Lagrange polynomial is generally known as X1 exceptional case, which was already <coughs> discussed by Levi also. And for uh, detail, you can get here, we'll teach people. And uh, this uh, exceptional polynomial is nothing but the combination of, linear combination of two usual Lagre polynomials. Similarly, for the phi case, when we solve, we get this type of extended potential, which is uh, usual conventional, this is the conventional potential, that is the trigonometric scar potential. And this one is the rational term corresponding to this one. The solution for this potential is also known which is written in terms of exceptional Jacobi polynomials. And now this exceptional Jacobi polynomial, similar to the Lagre case, this can also be written as a linear combination of this uh, usual uh, Jacobi polynomial. Yes. Now, we consider another example of this, that is the complex potential case. Here, in this case, yeah, in this case, uh, we define this Khare uh, Bhaduri interaction terms simply by multiplying this here i, this is the imaginary number, and we make it complex. By doing so, and zeta of this form, this is our form, after doing so, we simplify this equation, and we get this, uh, this is the uh, <coughs> trigonometric uh, rogen mosh type or Eckhart type of potential, and which is pt symmetric. And this is the con conventional part, and this is the rationally extended part, which is already obtained by, this one is obtained by Kuchne. They op uh, she obtained uh, uh, in hyperbolic form, but uh, we converted them uh, in the trigonometric form. And this potential, complete potential, which uh, is already obtained in the real form, looks like this. We make that pt symmetric by multiplying this i. And this potential is now pt symmetric. And uh, the solution for this equation is looks like equivalent to the uh, case of the uh, exceptional Jacobi case, but this is not the exceptional Jacobi polynomials. This one can be reduced in the form of normal polynomial. And this Q1 is the um, value for the uh, normal Jacobi polynomial for P equal to N1. Yeah. And this alpha beta, these are the parameter and eigenvalues are also known. So these are exactly solvable. And now, for the many-body problem, you consider here only for uh, 
um, one simple model and then uh, we are also trying to do the extension for the other model also so here we consider the uh, hamiltonian this one is the hamiltonian for the calogero n body problem and uh, we extend this hamiltonian by using this new rational term and uh, this new rational term is defined like this where this alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha beta 1 and beta 2 these are constants and this row is defined by this one this, uh, this is well known which we already defined in the earlier and uh, we assume the solution for this equation like this one this is the same solution we only replace that r of row with r of extended row here and after doing this we get the same equations which satisfied by this homogeneous polynomial that is the generalized laplace equation differential equation and but with the different is this one this, this equation is different with the earlier conventional case and now this uh, because we have this v of new case v of new this is this new interaction term when you use this uh, new interaction term this uh, uh, differential equation will satisfied by some types of new orthogonal polynomial and that and uh, when we solve we get um, we can solve by simple as Levi also discussed we can solve that equation by using simple coordinate transformation approach and after doing so we get the extended potential which is, looks like this and uh, the rationally extended potential in terms of the exceptional x1 Lagrange polynomial so now these are the expression for the x1 case and when you uh, generalize for the more uh, xm case m means any integer including zero any positive integer including zero and here we have not obtained this one because uh, the interaction term corresponding to xm case is very complicated so we have not written here and when you obtain this xm case the interesting thing is that when you put m equal to zero we get the normal calogero model three three body or the n body case so for the XM Lagrange and XM Jacobi, both for the N body system and for the three body system, both for both of the, the, the extension for the XM Lagrange and XM Jacobi are possible. So, finally, we summarize our talk. And uh, here, first, we uh, briefly discuss the uh, normal Calogero three body and uh, N body problems. And then we extend that problem by using some new interaction term and uh, obtain their solutions in terms of x1 exceptional Lagre and x1 exceptional Jacobi cases and thereafter the many body Calogero model is also considered and obtain their solutions by adding new rational type interaction terms yeah thank you you were very fast so there is time for questions if any Um, in some of your cases, have you checked if there is integral? So yeah, actually, uh, we have discussed with uh, and uh, fringe also regarding the integrability, but we have not this, uh, checked this is uh, integrable or not. So, yeah, we'll check. Because I guess that neither p one as p like the momentum is already integral, but this is you need neither check p the momentum. Yeah. I have not checked this one in like integrable because uh, uh, three. Uh, I think uh, we for the three body problem this may be integrable, but I, I we have not checked uh, for the n body, and uh, recently we have not checked. So I think this may be integrable for three body, but we have not checked yet. Yeah, thank you. More questions? Because the hidden origin of these extended polynomials is that you orthogonalize powers on integral interval where the zero is out. So I have a question whether moving to PT symmetrical analogs could give results or not. I mean complexification of X. Yeah. Which would extend x to the full line will include this zero back again. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So uh, this will be true also for the PT symmetric case. Yes. Okay. Other questions? Okay. If not, uh, we thank him and we thank all the speakers of today. And we resume on Monday.